that it was not just a 24 hour creep. Now, with this hive here, we had a dead queen. She's balled up back here. Passing around. <laughs> oh, it's being passed around. Okay. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, this is one of the things you need to be aware of. Check your hives after you use formic acid to make sure the queen survives the treatment. Did the formic acid just kill this queen or did she die from something else? It might have killed her. I don't know. I might have crushed her. I don't know. <laughs> but the point is, if you look at the white pad, you will see mites. This hive had what? Two or three mites with the sugar roll test? Or the powdered sugar? Uh -huh. Really okay. the queen. You can look at the front. That We're just going to leave these papers right Looks here. Looks like a regular now, bee. This hive mm -hmm. had a a number of bees, adult bees, die, plus you'll see larvae that mm -hmm. the bees have pulled out of the cell. Mm -hmm. And none of the other hives mm -hmm. had the dead larvae. But this is also something I saw with my bees when I used with formic acid. And it may be that because this is a small hive and we only had two. Maybe. I might have put too much for It my might guy. have been too much, yeah. I put 60 ml in that one. That may have been too much. But uh, this is something, uh, if you're working with formic acid, normally you're thinking of treating a full 10 frame, uh, two deep or three medium boxes. And that formulation seemed to work pretty good right there. I didn't see the problem with the other hive because we did not. Uh, on that one, we used all three, didn't we? Yeah, this one we had down to two. So, uh, what we can say is there are a lot of mites in there. A huge number of mites. And if you, uh, if you don't treat for your mites about now, your bees are going into winter with these things hanging on them. What we've done here is we've eliminated a number of them. And Brad, if you want to finish up, uh, why did you have them taped up in the front? Just to hold the paper there, or was that some other? Just to reduce the opening at the oh, end okay. of the hive so it holds the vapors in. Okay, all right. If any of you in this group, by the way, want to experiment with something, you've got an idea, right here is a place that we can do some experimenting. And it is a teaching situation. Um, Terry and um, John, by the way, uh, we'll be conducting the rest of the classes this year. And uh, they will be taking over this BR <laughs> next year. And um, if any of you want to insist or teach or do whatever you want, we want to encourage that. Okay? Great. Now that we're all done, I happen to think, show me that this to like half of the hive and not the other half to stick them here to see. You mean for winter there. survival? Uh -huh. We've got hives down here. Have not been treated. Okay. We can compare those. All right, all right. Uh, especially, we'll use the Ohio State hives as eight goats. <laughs> all right, okay. How will this hive now get requeened? We will do it. We've got queens here in the bee yard. Do you? Okay. Uh, we have no problem at all getting queens to requeen. That wasn't the queen that we had in here originally, though. May not have been if it was from that hive. It could be from one of these other hives. But all of our you queens are in yes. place. Yes. Place. Those are unmarked queens. Yes. Yes. Well, and, yes. there, are, there are sources so for queens. Are pretty pretty dark. Dark. Yeah. But we'll go back and we'll check to make sure. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and take That's the next issue. thing. Get take these hives apart. Oh, no. do you think they they raise them? Even if it's raining, we're going to get sucked in. I'm sorry. Do you think they raise their own queen? And that's just a little hard. Yeah, you just don't find it. But I came up here with that. You know, there's more hungry people around here. I see. You know, it depends on how you feel about it. But we're protected by the Because that was a Russian queen. Most of the books have been saying, for sure, it's not like a release of it. No, no. She had to be But I came up here with that. Unless we lost the queen. We don't have the problem with that. They may be too, too. So they, you can see they're done so pretty too. You know, they, they all say it. They only get upset when you have to do it. But she said they teach me all the time. Right. I just know that. 
I look at it. It's moving too fast. You know that queen, huh? It's amazing. <laughs> I was talking today. I mean, Dana's like, See a lot of my bees like they'll be hanging out on the front porch there. Mm -hmm. Be kind of milling around. Looks like they're almost like cleaning the surface or something like that. I've seen them open in there. They're just pulling them out on the front porch and pulling them out. It's cool actually. As soon as it starts getting colder yeah, outside, yeah. you won't see them outside. Uh, this year I uh, adapted this thing here a few years ago. I had a uh, problem with carpenter bees. And I sent away and got this device that goes down into the hole that they bore and put a, uh, chemicals in there to kill them. But I have adapted it for powdered sugar. And it works really well. I get down in the hive and square it like that. And then I take it off, off the top and then I pour it and then brush it down. That way I can get them from the top and the bottom. And the bottom. Uh, I'd just like to share this mm -hmm. because I think it wor it's been working pretty good for me, but I haven't used anything else but this. Mel, so, have you found that to be fairly effective for you? I mean, have you done well, any mite counts or anything? The bee inspector, when he came, said he couldn't find any mites. So I'm happy. Mm -hmm. two, two weeks <laughs> ago, we and where did that come from? Sugar method on you can eyes, get them yeah. to do a, we used a, a search for We used I think my sugar was at sat in there. Get rid of them, oh, then you can find a couple, couple months. Kind of I think it was kind of moist. So what kind of money are you talking? So you haven't uh, written off the powdered sugar method. No. Okay. Did you okay. This seems to be working. Anybody wants to see the thing? Watch some honey. Treat her with respect. I my extractor. She didn't even have a crown. Uh, we're going to <laughs> she fell from grace. She fell from grace. Now, and you can come on over and watch your extractor. How do I know that this is um, a queen bee? What I have is an extractor that's 100 years old. She's not much older than 100 years. Than 100 years. And uh, it does not have a brake. Okay. It does not have swinging baskets. It's got a rather unique uh, basket inside that you put four frames, spin out one half, and then turn the frames around. So,